Seiko really have no competition when it comes to textured dials these days. Sure, you can find some homages that clone them, or microbrands with limited batch productions of some interesting patents, but with the might of Seiko's in-house design and manufacturing, they've been pumping out hit after hit of stunning textured dials. The SPB237 is no exception, and does it while cranking up the vintage meter. At this point, Seiko aren't surprising anyone with a vintage reissue, although this particular turtle does do things a little differently than we're used to. Every detail, from the ashy grey dial with vertical graining, to the creamy faux aged loom and bezel markings, works towards creating a harmonious look of an old battle-scarred watch with plenty of stories to tell. There's nothing harsh that jumps out at you, but the light play is excellent especially with those half-brushed and half-polished hour and minute hands. The muted shades of parchment and slate grey ensure that the red spot on the second's hand pops immediately, and of course the indices are generously slathered with Seiko's Lubibrite for some of the best after-dark legibility. As with the incredibly successful Captain Willard SPB-153, the SPB-237 uses a turtle case that echoes the original cushion proportions of the reference 6105 from 1970. Leaning into the wide lug style, yet slightly smaller overall, with a diameter of 42.7mm and only 46mm lug to lug. On wrist, it still appears like a hulking mass of metal, but the shortness of those lugs keep it wearable on relatively small wrists emphasizing why the turtle case is so widely loved. The movement is the high-performance 6R35, which has recently been popping up across a wide variety of Seiko's collections. Although the original 6105 model had the same beat rate of 21,600 vibrations per hour, the 6R35 does so with a convenient 70-hour power reserve, hacking, hand-winding, and low servicing costs. The SPB-237 comes with two NATO straps, using an interesting thick weave purpose-built for diving. The muddy olive green colour accentuates the warmth of the dial, as well as harkens back to the military canvas vibe. The dial matching grey strap cools things down, making it look as though the watch has been plucked straight from a grainy black and white photograph from the 1970s. As the SPB-237 rides the wave of hype which followed the Captain Willard, it is more expensive, with an RRP of 2050 Australian dollars. It's another signal of Seiko's transition into higher watchmaking and taking its fight straight to the luxury brands, but there's no doubt that the feeling it brings on every check of the wrist should be worth every cent.